Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over and testing this Lano laptop cooling pad and comparing it directly against the best of the best, the IETS GT500. There are a lot of reviews on Amazon stating that this is better. So today we're gonna to test that out. And we'll be testing it on my MSI Creator 15 gaming and video editing laptop. And we will be playing a video game and comparing the heat on both these laptop coolers. So take a look at this laptop cooler. It does have the foam pad. The controls are right here. The dials here. These flip up to hold your laptop in place. Turning the cooler around, we have this that releases and a filter. And then we have the fan. So that's really cool to see. And of course we have these legs that can fold out. It's a very simple, minimal design. Now take a look at the IETS GT500. The laptop cores are roughly the same size. Height wise, this one's a bit taller. This one feels a lot higher quality as well. The fan is much larger compared to the ITS GT500. Here are the controls on the side. Get an on and off switch, then this changes the speed of the fan. The GT500 uses these to hold your laptop in place and they are adjustable. You can put them in different places. The Lano just has legs that flip up. And the Lano also has three USBs, USB-C and the power part right there. Before we compare how well these cool down, let's check out how loud they are on the fan's max speeds. I'm gonna put them right in the middle. Let's go ahead and plug it in. You hold the power button for two seconds. This is the lowest fan setting that it automatically goes to. As you can see, it does have LED lighting all around it and you can change that. Turn it off by holding it, turn it back on. This also swaps to the different lighting modes. And this is how you turn up and down the fan. We will do this one first, let's turn it all the way up. So about 74 or 75 decibels. Scroll it up. So the GT500 has the quieter fan compared to that one. However, the Lano has a bigger fan and it seems to be pushing out more air. This fan also stops faster and it starts going faster compared to the GT500. So with that said, let's turn on both of them. So this fan is moving this paper a lot more compared to the GT500. So if we take a look at the bottom of my laptop, all these holes are the intake for my fan. Then I have an exhaust here on the side and two, two on the back and one right here as well. So I installed these little legs on the bottom of my laptop so I can always have a laptop stand anywhere and everywhere I go. But without these legs sitting flat on the desk, the laptop gets to about 93 degrees Celsius while gaming. The ITS GT500 can cool it all the way down to about 73 degrees Celsius, but it has gotten down to 69, but it averaged about 72, 73. So that's 20 degrees Celsius difference with the IETS GT500. So let's see how the Lano will perform. You don't want the intake to be blocked by this foam. So you wanna make sure you set it in the right spot. If I set it too high, the intake will be covered. And right here's about the perfect spot for me to have the foam completely encompass the intake. However, these little legs, cannot reach my laptop. In order for it to reach, I need to pull down my laptop, but that is just too far down for my laptop to sit without any air leaks. This would be about a centimeter worth of an air leak. I can't do that. Bring that top load for the back, and right there is perfect. And realistically, you don't need these, but you will want to go ahead and kick up the feet as the intake fan for this laptop cooler is underneath. So you need to lift it up just a little bit. So now, let's go ahead and turn on the laptop stand during the game, obviously, while it's under load and see how low it can get, and see if we can get lower than the ITS GT500. I'm now going to turn on this and turn it all the way up. That's where the graph's at right now. So I'll say drives are kind of hot, almost in critical condition. So let's go ahead and GPU has dropped straight down. It's from 62 to 55 degrees. CPU is dropping way low as well. Wow, that is amazing. GPU has dropped down at 50 degrees, 48, 49 degrees. CPU is at 59, 60 degrees, 57. It's still dropping. And the solid state drives are way below the healthy temperature. That is amazing. We know that this is a bit louder compared to GT500. You can hear it. But let's see if I can turn it down to around the decibels that the GT500 was and see if it's still better. I turned it down to 1200, it was at 20. Anyways, so it's at 1200 compared to 2800, which, is, which was as fast as speed. Decibels are at 60 decibels, which is pretty good. So let's see what these temperatures look like. You can already see the slight rise right there. So 
even with this turned down, wider than the GT500, is still doing better than the GT500 at max speed. I think that's saying something. I think that is a pretty big deal. Let's turn off this from 1200 and see if my fan on the computer is still running at full blast. Okay, it's running, but not at full blast, which is what I want. You don't want your laptop's fans running full blast all the time. This cooling pad drop the temperature down from if it was sitting flat on the desk, 93 degrees. It can drop it all the way down on full blast to 57 degrees Celsius. What is that? 40, that is roughly 35 degrees Celsius colder. That's a big deal compared to the GT500, which can only do about 20 degrees colder. Um, if you want to check this out, I have a link down below for your convenience. And yeah, that's all for today. This is Chris. Always appreciate any respect to another. I'll see you next time.